Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Hopkinton High School turf field for Hopkinton Hillers Varsity Girls Soccer on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Sweetapple on the call, Emily Miller on camera. And today, the 3 1 and 2 Hillers take on the 2 2 and 0 oh Ashland Clockers. This, of course, is a makeup game from what was supposed to be this weekend. And tonight, they will be doing it in cold temperatures out there on the turf fields with some wind in the air. And we're certainly hoping the wind will die down a little bit as the evening goes on. But it should be a good matchup between two teams and what is a great rivalry, Steve. Yep. Yeah, this wind was a bit of a factor in the JV game, especially with uh, some of those long clears. Players that have taken the field, we are just about ready to go. And net for the Hillers, it's Kristen McCluskey, the other 10 starters, Kelly Title, Riley Kradenmacher, Riley Delaney. Then you got Gabriella Siri, Lexi Veal, Ava Perlov, Ashley Butler, Lily York, Tiffany McKillis, and Joanna DuPont. 20 minutes on the clock. Ashland will start off with possession. And they'll work right to left across your screen. And we are underway. Well, that's a nice through ball, but red beautifully. Ashland was charging hard. Try to get into the box. It was Emma Arsenal. Bradley Delaney with a great read on it. Cut down the angle and played it perfectly. Ashland trying to attack, cleared away. Up towards Maddie Marchetti. Into Ashland territory now. Getting there for the Hillers was Lily York, sends it up. Oh, great hustle from Ava. She forced a corner kick. <laughs> so we'll have the entry from that far side corner. Sends it out, out in front. There's a shot and a save. That was off of Ashley Butler and wrapped up by the goaltender. Good pressure there by the Hillers. The pass up by Katie English. Now at midfield, that's Alexis Veal. Over to Joanna DuPont. Sends it back to Veal. Now along the far side approaching Butler. Sends it down into the corner. Out in front. There's a shot off the goaltender and a little push there. Yeah, Ashley Butler with, with uh, a great read on it. Hiller's working the wings very, very well. Great give and go in that sequence. It'll be Lily York taking it from the corner. Out into the box, right to the net, off the goalkeeper. And it is just set down. I'm not sure if that ball dipped. I couldn't see if that dipped at the end because the keeper played it with her legs. Ashland 
Ashland trying to work their way back into Hiller's territory. And sent down towards the box by Emma Arsenal. Hiller's trying to work it back upfield. Duplot. Airs it out. And behind the net it goes. Hillers have started out in the first uh, few minutes here. Very quick, quick passing. Yeah, one of the attacking keys for the Hillers in this game is play quickly. I think they know they have to be aggressive against this tough Ashland team. Especially with this win, too. You don't want to hang the ball up in the air, keep it on the ground. And the girls are just moving the ball really, really well. Nice step from Tiffany. Sent down by Leighton. There's the punt. Sent over to Siri. Along the far side. And a play goes. The lights are on here at the turf fields. First night action the Hillers have had here on this field. Here comes Butler. She'll send it up the far sideline. Out in front, that's McCulis. Out to Veal, shot, wrapped up. Yeah, she didn't hit it squarely. She had, she had a lot of time, just hit the top of the ball. Cleared away by the goalkeeper. DuPont. The air side she goes. In front to McCulis, now Veal. Takes a shot right off the defender. That had a feel good on this cold night. Back out goes York. There's a boot there. Sent back out by Ashland. McCulis to Veal. DuPont now. Into the box. Willie York was trying to get there. Back to DuPont. Sent over and out along the near side. <coughs> Off of Arsenal to goes. Oh, nice move by Veal. Veal. Great there's ball. A, it certainly was. She was trying to get it over to Perloff. Over to the near side to Arsenal. Now towards midfield as there to contest was Butler. We're about at the 13 and a half minute mark of this first quarter. Butler with the pass up. She's looking to the far side for Perlov. And out of play it goes. Perlov will take it from the corner. Perlov and York teaming up along the corner. Back to Perlov, into the box, out in front. Ashland able to clear it away. Clocker is trying to approach. There's Matty English. That was Riley Delaney <laughs> with a a good shoulder to shoulder, but it was a it was just a, a little too hard in these COVID times. Yeah, they'll call that close contact. Free kick here for Ashland. It's Matty Marchetti taking it. Go, Go, 
Airs it out, had a good arc to it, but out of play it goes. Kluski will send it up. Along the far side. Possession that is Carter. Pass up by Butler to Perlov. And it looks like maybe some contact there. Yep. Pass back to Siri. Into the box, and it's collected. Yeah, Ava and Joanna are having their way on the wings, and like to see him keep feeding that. Did a nice job on the wings last week against Norton. And what was a win here on the Hillers home turf? No one put out a play off of title. Kirsten Olgsby on the entry there. Off of Siri, there's Butler. Smart play by Butler, goes back to the keeper, let the girls just regroup. Blaney sends it up. Here's McKillis. And Title puts it out off of Shepard. On the entry. Sends it over to Veal. Now it's back to Siri. Now Butler. Hiller is trying to approach. And well, the first half here, excuse me here, Tom, the, the ball has really been in the Ashland defensive end. Hillers have done a good job in controlling the run of play. They certainly have. And I like how aggressive they're being. Really trying to attack DuPont. Oh, nice overlap by Title. Title sends it up. DuPont trying to chase it down. She just is having a little trouble there getting around Olgsby. Yeah, it was good. Good nuisance defense. Forces the turnover. It'll keep the pressure on. Title will send it in. Pass by McCulis. Sent over by Veal. Sent up by Siri. Along the far side now. Oh, good idea. Ooh, swing and a miss there by DuPont, but she stays with it. That was the right idea. One time the ball. Lily York sends it out of play. Maybe there was still some residual ice on the field. The ball just kind of skimmed. I can't imagine it's not a, at least a little bit slippery out there. That field was pretty drenched in snow for a couple of days. And then the rain. Yeah, that rain certainly didn't help last night. York sends it over. There's McCulis sending it back. Veal to DuPont. Off a of clock and out. Hillers will put it in once again. Pass over to Bakulis. She'll send it back to Siri. Trying to get there, Delaney. And she got tied up with Robinson. Oldsby will put it into play. Aired out off of Delaney. Uh oh, there's a header. And yeah, I think that's only the second head ball, though, I've seen all season. <laughs> so kudos to the girls for being able to uh, react to that because it's they've been trained their whole life to head the ball and this year you can't. So. Right. Be 
an indirect kick. Abby Marchetti will air it out into the box, sent away. I believe that was Butler that got yeah. under it. Yep. Is it six o'clock yet, Tom? They said the wind was stopping. <laughs> it's got to be close. This game had a 5:45 start. We're uh, about 15 minutes into it, so we got to be right there. I don't believe them, though. I don't either. Especially because it's blowing right in our face. Right. I wish it would blow the other way. That'd be nice. We're just not blowing at all. That's sent down by Olgsby. On their side, it's Schreider. Butler trying to get in there. It was sent up by Veal. Here comes the Hillers racing up the far side. That's Perlov. And we'll get a whistle. Yeah. Called that one on Ava, a little push. 5.45 and counting left to go in this first quarter. Yeah, Ava and Catherine Carter are having a good battle down the left wing. Perlow trying to get there. Put out off of Veal. Nicely done up field there by Veal. On the far side now, sent over by Perlov. McCullis. Back to Veal. Here comes Title. Airs it out into the box. Lily York was trying to get it in there. Mikulis. Now here's DuPont. Trying to set up York. Well defended by Ashland. And it's picked up by the goalkeeper. Approaching four minutes left in the first quarter. Scoreless game in this Far City matchup between Hopkinton and Ashland. Butler. Looking for DuPont. Title. Now here comes Matty English. Sends it forward. And kept away for the moment. Off Kradenwacher. Some substitutions coming in. Well, some dedicated fans are here to check out the action. Bearing the cold, windy weather. That they are. Some dedicated parents right there, I must say. On the entry for Ashland, that's Alexa Robinson. Into the box, cleared away. Comes the Hillers up the far side. It got away from Perloff. <laughs> that went off of Veal. I'll make that a credit marker.
Back out of play it goes. Krademacher will put it back into play. What was that, a false start there? Yeah, the second whistle hadn't gone. We're at the two minute mark of the first quarter. Sent over by Delaney, title to DuPont. And it'll be Ashland's ball. From the nearest side, that's Olgsby. Mikulis. Here comes Butler. Along the far side, Perlov. Oh, lovely ball. Right in front, DuPont, swing and a miss. And it's cleared out. Fantastic ball from Ava. Pillars would love to have that one back. Kelly Title with the entry. DuPont, back to Title. Out in front, Veal. Sends it over, and Kratenmacher goes wide left. Final stages of this first quarter. of Butler, Mikulis, sends it over looking for Perlov, a little too much <coughs> in front of her. And that's it for the first quarter, after one it's Ashland nothing, Hopkinton nothing, good matchup going on between these two teams. Second quarter coming up next on HCAM. It's six o'clock and still windy here at the Hopkinton <laughs> High School turf fields. And we are ready for the second quarter. Are we? <laughs> sort of. I'd like to thank our meteorologist, Steve Streetapple, for <laughs> bringing up my hopes. And Yeah, the first words I said to Tom when we arrived were, it says the wind's gonna die by six. <laughs> and it just gusted. <laughs> Several times. <Huh. laughs> Ooh, are we going to 17-minute quarters? I like it, looks, it. Yeah, it looks like they're shortening the game. I like it. They should. You don't want these athletes getting hypothermia out there. Yeah, they just shortened the, Let's see the if they break between the up. quarters. We went from two minutes to one minute. Well, the official's yelling at the score table, so I don't know if they're just getting our hopes up or what. Let's see. Scoreless game between Hopkinton and Ashland. Yeah, uh, first period dominated by Hopkinton, though. And they did correct it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was hoping they'd have a little sympathy. Yeah. Along the far side, Hiller's working right to left across your screen in the second quarter. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweetapple on the call. Emily Miller on camera, out of bounds, it goes along the near side. Krattenmacher will put it into play. Back to Siri. Sent up to Butler, looking for Perla, a little too far in front of her. As there's the wind once again. I think it'll probably die down right after the game's through, Steve. That's oh, what I guess. absolutely. <laughs> as soon as that game's through, it's going to be a heat wave. Here comes Veal approaching. Oh, nice run, nice run. Into the box, shot, oh, and it save. is just deflected. I thought it was going under the keeper. Good save from the clocker keeper, just pushed it wide. That was a nice shot there by Veal. Veal. 
in from the corner. Sent out in front. It was deflected away. As Title is trying to get back into the box. Veal. Hiller is certainly winning the possession battle so far in this game. Kradenmacher with a nice move. Yeah, a little too many touches there. Sent down by Siri looking for Lexi Trendle. Perlov got in there, swiped out by Ashland. Playoff of Carter. Big shot into the box, out in front, scooped up by the goaltender. That was Perlov getting a nice piece of it. Butler trying to approach, turned away. Along the near side and out. Kradenmacher. Veal sends it over to Burt Whistle. Sends it down, out in front, Perlov. Turned away for the moment, Burt Whistle gets back in there. There's Butler. On the far side, DuPont. Trying to center it up off of Trendle and it's wrapped up. Maybe the weatherman said it was gonna accelerate it at six <laughs> o'clock. I think so. Veal doing a great job controlling the run of play for the Hillers. Ashland trying to work it into Hopkinton territory. It's been all Hillers on the attack pretty much so far tonight. And swipe down towards Perlov along the end line and it's wrapped up. Nice shot attempt there. It was a nice send down as well. Yeah, it was a, an acute angle for Ava. If she would have picked her head up, she would have saw that she did have somebody just on the outside of the six yard box. If she just could have pulled it back a little bit. Siri over to Kradenmacher. Sent down towards Trendle, Butler. To the box, cleared away. There's Veal. Butler now, just trying to find Perlov along the corner of the box. <coughs> Into the Hillers territory. 15 minutes sand counting left to go in the second quarter. Pass up by Merson. Off of English, trying to track it down as Shepard. Put out a play. Yeah, you would have liked to have seen Riley just shepherd that over the end line instead of giving them a corner kick in their own end. On the corner, it'll be English. Yeah, we'll get a little trip up there. Yeah, Siri with a little trip. <coughs> Matty English on the free kick. Airs it out. That's a goal. Oh, that's in. 
What a beauty by Matty English to make it a 1-0 Ashland lead. Great goal. Well struck. Goes against the run of play. It's been a, Hopkinton's had 80% of the possession and Ashland's first shot puts them ahead, 1-0. It comes at 13.35 left in quarter number two. The Hillers end up being the team behind. Berenson sends it down. Perlov. On the near side, aired out and out of play off of Siri. Perlov approaching along with. Veal, Veal, and here comes Perlov. Takes a shot and just with that, it. and it's put in. Great, great shot from Dupont. So Perlov setting up Dupont. I think it was. No, it wasn't. It was Ava. No, it wasn't. Ava made the pass. Ava made the pass. Yeah. I want to say it was Burt Whistle. I believe it was, might have been Burt Whistle. I couldn't tell. My eyes were tearing up. <laughs> it was a good response, though, from the ladies. It certainly was. It's not easy to see uh, goals when it's this cold out. <laughs> it was coming from the the right side. So that's why. And it was a, a pretty big audience in front of the net. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was DuPont, but. So back to the goalkeeper. <clears throat> oh, there's an errant pass. Riley bailed Bert. the keeper out there. Burt Whistle sends it down. Perlov. On the track down is Trendle who will draw some contact. Be put into play from the near side. And it'll be Siri with a free kick. And we got one ref calling one thing and another calling. So the ref who's half it is gets the override. Sent up by Ashlyn. Getting in there, swiping it away it was Siri. Couple substitutions. Just under 10 minutes left to go here in what has been an exciting second quarter. Goal piece. As the wind continues to pick up, <laughs> sent out in front, and it's cleared away. Nice defensive play from Butler. Looks to Robinson, puts it into play. Love trying to send it down. Nice pass there by Perlov. Sent down by Siri. There's Burt Whistle. Over to Butler. Perlov. Butler back to Perlov. Eh, a little too a little far. Too far. long, yep. yep.
jumped in there to try to steal it away was Veal. To midfield, sent up by English. And we got a trip up there. Minutes left to go here in quarter number two. Out in front. Cleared away by Burt Whistle. DuPont. I don't hear enough talking from the Hillers. <clears throat> Joanna moved the ball forward and there were six Ashland players and only two green shirts in front of her. She should have held it up and dropped it back, but I didn't hear anybody calling for it. Here comes Veal sending it over to Perlov. And at a play along the end line it goes. Corner, corner kick. Corner entry. Aired out into the box. Pont trying to get in there. Feel nearly had a shot on it, but it was just cleared away. A couple substitutions by both sides. Series trying to send it in there. There she comes, airing it out to the net, wrapped up. That's a good idea, shooting from distance with this wind. It'll, it'll make the ball move. Along the near side, Berenson. Sends it up to Butler. There's Burt Whistle laying it out and it's wrapped up. Good take from the outside once again. Along the far side she goes. Burt Whistle sends it up. Tsunami of wind, Steve. <laughs> Ashlyn will put it into play. Less than five minutes left to go. Here in the second quarter. Here comes Veal. Nice steal. Yeah, good steal there. Some good footwork by Veal. Title of an overlapping run. Burt Whistle chips it into the box. Turned around by Butler. She goes wide. Still live ball along the end line, but not for long. Put out of play. Was out off of Ashland. Yep, corner kick. Butler will take it. Or maybe not. So it looks like Kira O'Connor heading over there. And it's wrapped up by the goalkeeper.
Nicely played by Burnson. Over to Burt Whistle. Cleared out by Carter. Box, aired out in front, cleared away. Sent over by Berenson. Delaney, chips it over to Title. On the far side now. Back to Delaney. Connor. Sent over by Butler. Pass by Berenson. Uh, Veal just <clears throat> lost control a little bit there and just a little too much power on the pass. Doherty couldn't handle it. Substitution Ashland. As we have reached the two minute mark here in the first half. Along the far side, nice moves by O'Connor. Whistle. Approaching, airs it out, wrapped up. But she's she's uh, shooting from long range tonight. She gets some nice shots off from that distance. Yeah, she's got good power on it. If she put it up a little bit more and let the wind help carry it into the net. Cleared over by Siri towards O'Connor. Put up the sideline by Ashland, but Delaney's there. Great ball from Delaney. Certainly was. But she's had a great first half. Bit of a collision along the far side as it rolls out. Will be Hiller's ball from the corner. Into the box. Out to Berenson. And there's a shot by Veal. Oh. And was that wrapped up? Yes. Surprised the keeper. Veal just did a quick turn. There were two white shirts in front of her, and the ball just came around her towards the keeper. She was just able to wrap that up. Hiller is still winning the control battle. Seems as Veal sends it over. Ashland trying to turn it upfield. Nice move there by Burwhistle. Sent up by Butler. Trendle. And out of play. <clears throat> this is going to be tricky. It's going to be an indirect kick. Looks like it's going to be in the box. It's a COVID foul, so it's not going to be a penalty kick. And they're going to move it outside the box. Gabriella Siri. This is a perfect time for a shot. Siri. Oh, great play. And that Excellent. is in. So Siri put it nope. towards the net, yep. and then it looks like it went off of Trendle. Yep, it was. Great hustle from Trendle. 
So that'll make it a two to one Hillers lead. And we don't have much time left here in this half. It can't be yeah, much more than 15 a, seconds. It is a great time for them to blow the whistle. I think you're gonna hear it shortly after the ball is put in play. There we there go. There you go. Well, after one half of play, a 2-1 lead for the Hillers. Ashland started things off with a goal, but then the Hillers respond with two of their own to wrap up the first half. Second half coming up next on HCAM. And welcome back to the Hopkinson High School turf fields on this windy, cold night here for this varsity game. As I'd like to add bitter to that, Tom. Yes, very bitter. And as we enter the second half, it's a two to one Hillers lead. Three goal second quarter. Ashton had a goal at 13.35, then the Hillers had two of their own. Now I'm so cold, I forgot to write the time down of the goals. <laughs> yeah, the, the first goal was about three minutes first, after the Ashland goal. There was a real right. quick turnaround for the Hillers, and then right before the halftime whistle, Excuse me, they scored a second. But it was a, it was a, I mean, it's right. an absolute dominant display from the Hillers in the first half. It certainly least was. 80 to 85 percent ball control possession. And the Clockers oh. had a nice shot for their goal. The Hillers were just a great response. Yeah, the, and the Clockers' goal was against the run of play. It was their, their first shot on net, and it was a, a well-struck ball. Went into the upper right corner. And we're underway in the second half. Hiller is working left to right across your screen. Here is DuPont. Sends it up to Butler. to the far side. Perlov trying to work it out of the traffic jam. Out of play it goes. <coughs> Kradenmacher will put it into play. Sent back by McCullis. Over to title. Up to Butler. Now there's uh, DuPont. That'll play. York just put a little too much mustard on that pass. Butler getting in the middle. York uh, is out to DuPont, who airs it out. She was looking for the top corner of the net. <coughs> It'll be Ashland's ball. I thought Ashland might change their formation here in the second half. They're playing a three, yeah, three, two, four, one. Along the far side. Into Hiller's territory, Delaney's there. Over to the near side to DuPont. Up to York. Title sends it back. Here's Siri. Here comes the Hillers on the attack. It's Perlov trying to get it out of there. A good battle down there. Yeah, Perlov and <coughs> Catherine Carter. Next, with, with Ashland playing just a single striker and Hopkinton playing three back, there's, there's plenty of time for Delaney to read the angles and, and make the play. I really thought Ashland would change their shape. Hillers will have a 
free kick. Siri will take it. Airs it out to the net. Still in the box. Has York got a foot on it? And now it's cleared away. Good recovery from Veal. It certainly was. <coughs> she got right up the field. Delaney along the far side. Up to McCulis. And tripped up his Siri. Ashland will put it into play. Bit of an overrun there by Perlov. Good step from Delaney. And a play goes along the far side. Fillers <laughs> with the entry. Ashlyn has gotten much of an attack going throughout much of the second quarter. Miller's winning the possession battle. Sent over towards DuPont. Nice feed over to Veal. Perloff trying to work the way up. Along the far side. Beal trying to get in there, how to play it goes. And Coats on the field. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't help but laugh at that one. Yeah, big gust of wind came, blowing coats all over the field. Blew my pen away. Off of Butler. DuPont. Nice box out there. Sends it up to York, back to DuPont. Airs it out. Top of the box. Kula sends it over. Butler. With a nice shot, and it's wrapped up. 14 minutes left to go in the third quarter. Remains a two to one game. In favor of Hopkinton. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweetapple on the call. Emily Miller on camera. As DuPont tries to rush in. Delaney sends it over. On the far side, it's Siri. Don't forget, we have more Hiller Sports for you tomorrow night, starting at 3 p.m. We'll have JV Field Hockey, followed by the Varsity game at 4.45. Then at 7 p.m., we have Boys Varsity Soccer. That's all on HCAM tomorrow night. Of course, that's the most important thing tomorrow is the Hillers games. Nothing else big going on, Steve. No. <laughs> DuPont. New York back to DuPont. A little too much. <clears throat> Ashland will put it into play. Title. Ooh, handball. This looks like a free kick. Siri looks like she's going to take it. She might go all the way to the net with this. You never know. Nice one out in front. Nice Depart shot from the goal. Well taken. That's the second goal of the day for DuPont. 
And what a beauty of ascending by Siri. Yeah, the lack of aggression from the clockers defense there. They stood around and watched the ball bounce and Joanna just came in. The goal comes with 11.50 left to go in the third quarter. Hillers trying to get another attack going here. Butler to DuPont. Here comes Veal. Back to DuPont. Veal sends it over as McKeelis was trying to rush the box. Clear it away for the moment along the near side. Over to Klepper. Katie Klepper working up the field. Title on her heels. And she'll take a strike at it. <clears throat> and it's wrapped up by McCluskey. Yeah, with this formation, the clockers, they get the ball up to the lone striker. She just doesn't have any support. McCluskey well, hasn't had to do too much work in a while. Perlov. Here comes Title. She was looking for DuPont. DuPont gets in there, leaves it for Butler. Mikulis sends it over to Perlov. Out of play it goes. For substitutions for both sides. Samia Catherine Kayan is into the game for the Hillers, along with Kara O'Connor and the Emerson Joy. Front cleared away. Klepper trying to rush up the field, stolen by Veal. Sends it over to DuPont. And DuPont was looking for Carter Kayan. She overran it. A little miscommunication there. Sending it into play, Oldsby. Oh, that's a turnover. Ball's got to stay on the ground. Carta Kian. Over towards Veal. Siri. Trying to set it up the far side. York trying to get in there, along with Perlov. Can Ashland get an attack going? Riley Delaney, looking for DuPont. DuPont with a nice move there. And some contact between DuPont and Olsgby. Will be Hiller's <coughs> ball. Siri. Taken along the far side from Veal. And it'll go Ashland's way. 741 and counting left to go. Rexy Trendle's gonna come back into the game. See a lot of movement going on by the players on the sidelines. Uh, keep warm. It's a cold one. As well as the camera operator and the announcers. <laughs> <laughs> We've run like six laps already. <laughs> Set up the far side. The 
possession for Ashley. That's Merson. Yeah, that was a good step in there by Burt Whistle. Ashley trying to get something going as we approach six and a half minutes left in the third. Carter McKeon tracks it down, sends it to the goalkeeper. Can she clear? Well, loose pass. Yeah, it was just past Veal. Oh, great play from Veal. A nice job getting in there. Looking for Ava on a quick break. Perlov is trying to rush up. Just cut off by Carter. Along the near side, McGinnis. Court the key in. Working the near side, Ali Laughlin. Sends it out. Cleared away for the moment by Delaney. Good box out by Veal. York turns it around, looking for DuPont. Just able to keep it away from DuPont was Marchetti. There's a pass up to DuPont from York. Back to York now. Ashland trying to approach. Into the box, wrapped up by McCluskey. Just send it over to Karthikian. Pot puts it over to Joy. Here comes O'Connor. Burt Whistle now. Airs it out into the box, <coughs> just wide of the net. Couple substitutions by both sides. The officials uh, reminding a player to keep their mask up. Off of Veal. Veal with the steal. Sends it over to Pot. Good recovery from Veal. Very nice steal there. The kid sends it over to Burt Whistle. Out of the far side. Furlov. Just to the side of the box, out of play it goes. Perlov will have it from the corner. Put out of play. Berenson. Here's it out into the box. And now here comes Veal. Here's it out just wide. That was a great take from Veal. Just couldn't get it on net. 240 and counting left in the third quarter. Step from Ava. Perlov just to, couldn't control it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been fun watching Ava Perlov and Catherine Carter go at it. They've had a good battle. Certainly have. Trying to get in there. Perlov. Approaching. Oof. Right off the head of a defender. 
Ava still with the ball. Yeah. Nice. Wrapped up by the keeper. We're at the two minute mark of the third quarter. Hillers trying to work their way back up. Here's Veal. Here she comes, quickly approaching. Just sent out. Nice move there by Laughlin. Sends it along the far side. And we'll have a free kick for Ashlyn. Not sure what that foul was, but might have been close contact. Yeah, but Hopkins was had possession. Sent out off of a hiller. As the wind continues to blow. <laughs> well past six o'clock. <laughs> Maybe they said six AM. <laughs> Maybe they said six o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> I was trying to focus on a positive. <laughs> I'd love to see this new sport. <laughs> Who can I yell at? <laughs> Where can up the near Sider's title? I'll make that Veal. So, Veal, nice job getting in there. Here she goes again. Up the near side to DuPont. Lexi Veal, just a fun player to watch. She's having a great game. Burt Whistle, back to Veal. DuPont, and yeah, set the way by Ashland. Burt Whistle gonna air it out. Ooh, and it's Spilled. off the goaltender. That's still a live ball, and out of play it goes. But that's gonna do it for the third quarter of play. After three, it's Hopkinton three, Ashland one. Final 20 minutes coming up next on HCAM. We are ready for the fourth quarter. Three to one Hiller's lead. Well, Ashland had the first goal of the game. With just over 13 and a half left in the second quarter. Hiller's respond with two in the quarter. And then an additional goal in the third. And they are in command and we'll start off with possession. And it will be working right to left across your screen for this final 20 minutes. Lexi Trendle is in there. <coughs> She'll start things off. Back to Joy. Over to the Far side now. It's Carta Keen over in that far side. Carta Keen will put it into play. Along that sideline. Sit back up field. Over to Berenson. Back down she goes off of Trendle. Butler trying to send it up. Burt Whistle. Able to find Joy. And out of play along the end line, it'll be Hiller's ball. A big thank you to our crew for braving out the cold. Emily Miller on camera, Steve Sweetapple on the call with myself, Tom Nappy. And we've had a couple of great games, certainly a couple of cold ones, but a lot of entertainment, some great goals here tonight. Of course, the JV team ended in a 1-1 draw and a 
Great game. Right now, the Hiller is leading 3-1 to one here in the fourth quarter. Out in front, sent away to the far side. Out of play it goes. Kartikian will put it into play. Burr whistle back to Kartikian. There's Siri sending it over to the near side to Butler. Now Burt Whistle, nice move there towards the box and just wide. It looks like we're going to have a change of <coughs> goaltender for Ashland. We'd tell you, but there's no numbers. No, for the Hillers. Oh, excuse me. No. Yes, that will be the Hillers goaltender. So that is likely Anna Thomas. So uh, Kristen McCluskey getting the rest of the night off. Anna Thomas is in there. My brain froze there for a minute, Steve. Uh, there's uh, no need to apologize for that. I think we're all frozen here, Tom. <laughs> well, the end line out of play. Be a nice night for football. <laughs> or sitting by a fire. Right. Along the far side. And a bounds. Just under 16 and a half minutes left. Cut the key and we'll put it into play. Well, and uh, we've seen this Hillers team. This is the fourth time now. They've been impressive. Yeah, right from the opening whistle, it's just been a, a pure domination offensive and defensively. I mean, they had one lapse, and that was the clocker's goal. Other than that, they've, they've played a, a fantastic game. And on that goal for Ashland, that was just an incredible shot. On the free kick. Up the far side. Burt Whistle. Sends it forward. Now looking for Berenson. Little push there to let him play on. <coughs> These officials certainly let him play a bit out there. I think for the most part, they try to avoid calling a lot of the ticky-tack things. Berenson a Butler. We'll call that. Contact there. Ashland on the free kick as we approach the 15 minute mark. Whistle trying to get in there. Butler. Aired out. And a nice job by Butler boxing out. Laney sends it down. Aired out by Siri. Just past O'Connor. And a little body contact there. <coughs> Trindle trying to get in there. Butler. Here she comes. Sends it upfield looking for Trindle. Into the box. O'Connor sends it back over to Burt Whistle, rips a shot and it's wrapped up. Good save from the keeper. That was a well struck ball. And that was played off the 
body, uh, body of Butler. Now along the near side. Sent up and out by Berenson. Sent over by O'Connor. Back and forth we go. Along the far side. Got the key in getting there, and a play goes. Here goes Siri. Airs it out. <laughs> Works it up the far side. And there's Trendle. Butler Good getting stat. in there. Nice steal. There's Burt Whistle. I think she wants to shoot again. She loves <laughs> she loves those outside shots. Here goes English. Manny English, just under 12 minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. Can Ashland get an attack going? Good step from Siri. Taken away by Butler. Along the near side to Berenson. Berenson keeping it in play. Oh, good through ball. Certainly was. O'Connor tracking it down. Trip up, play on, says the official. Out of play, <coughs> nice battle. There's O'Connor and Machete going at it. Ashland on the free kick. It's under 11 minutes to go. Siri trying to get in there. A little hip check there from Siri. <laughs> Just doing it for warmth at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, the free kick for Kaluga. Airs it out. O'Connor sends it down, looking for Trendle. On the far side. Lexi Trendles, the player has been getting more and more playing time as the season's gone on. Air it out by Delaney. On the far side now. And a play goes, Ashen Ball. Just under 10 minutes left to go here in the final quarter. Three to one Hiller's lead. And don't forget, tomorrow night, we have a slate of three games starting at 3 p.m. with Hiller's JV field hockey. And then we have varsity field hockey at 445, and boys soccer at seven. Hearing live on HCAM Ed, as well as our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAM TV. And also don't forget, every Wednesday at 3 p.m., HKM Sports Talk Live gets you up to date on everything going on locally in the sports world. Of course, a whole lot of high school sports, a whole lot of Hiller's sports, and we even talk some pro sports there. We have fun making our NFL picks every week. And we get a whistle here. Head ball. So it'll be Ashland possession. On the near side, jumping in there, Morgan Berenson. Here comes Butler. Butler, trying to get it over to Trendle. Trendle is going to be denied by the keeper. Is that still in? Yes, out oh. in front. No, just misses the net. And then O'Connor trying to turn it around. O'Connor, can't she get a shot off? She'll send it back. 
And then there's a swipe, and it is defended. I want to say that was, I'm not sure who that was on the secondary shot. The hair was blocked the number, but it was a good attack there by the Hillers. It was a good run of play from the Hillers, and especially Trendle. Just a fantastic work rate right there. There's Butler. She'll send it over to the far side. Ashland able to handle it for the moment. Well, the Hillers, they've dominated possession-wise all game. They have not given Ashland a whole lot of attacking opportunities. And if this score holds, it'll be a very nice win for the Hillers against a very talented Ashland team. But still a few minutes left to go. Anything can happen. Morgan Berenson will send it in. And the next opponent for the Hillers girls soccer team, well, they got Ashland tomorrow in Ashland. They're going to have Bellingham this coming weekend. But Doherty trying to approach, sent away. Six forty-five and counting left to go in this game. Siri sends it down. Pass out in front of the box. Offsides. I think Doherty was just a stride offsides. Ashland will have the free kick, indirect free kick. Butler gets there. Back to Delaney she goes. Over to the far side out. English trying to work it upfield, out of play. <laughs> Hillers on the futsal. Sends it out, looking for Doherty. And a little too much in front of her. Yeah, that was a Great switch of the field, just a, a little too hard. As we approach the five minute mark, Hiller is leading three to one. We are in quarter number four. We'll make a handful of substitutions. <coughs> Kulis back into the game. Into the box, out in front. No one can get there. Burt Whistle hopping in the middle of the action. Here she goes. Sends it to the top of the box. There's Emerson Joy. Trendle trying to get a shot off. Just turned away. And a play along the near side. Peculis, nice move. Sends it back to Siri. And hopping out in front is Siri. Sent down by Delaney. Burt Whistle sends it to Garthakian. Siri. 
airing it out. Trying to get there. It's Trendle. Puts it in the box off the side of the net. Good run from Trendle. You see a little difference here, though, since Veal went out here in the fourth. The Hillers haven't had as much possession, and especially distributing the ball from the middle. Veal had a fantastic game. Certainly did. Berenson sends it over to Burwistle. Air There's a great out. shot, just wide. I don't think there's a spot in the field that she doesn't like to shoot from. <laughs> yeah, she'll hit those from time to time as well. She's got some power. 225 and counting left to go. Hiller's clinging on to a three to one lead. Sends it back over to Siri. Delaney. Along the far side, out of play. So we hit the two minute mark. Over to Siri. Over to Berenson. Well, Steve, this is a this must have been a fun game for the Hillers, just really controlling the tempo the whole way and winning the possession battle and getting everybody in there. Yeah, and, and I think the the girls, even though Ashland scored first early in the in the second quarter, they knew just from the the dominating possession that they had up to that point that as long as they keep kept playing like they were, the goals were gonna come, and they have. They certainly did. This is sent down and put out of play. Goal kick. I mean, I think this is the best overall performance I've seen from the girls this season. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I mean, we only see their home games, but. Yeah, this was a good performance. <laughs> they played well against Holliston last week, but th I'd say this is definitely their number one performance of the season. And they did it against a very good Ashland team. Back into Hiller's territory. Delaney. Sends it up to Kartikian. Ashland get a last attack chance here. And that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers defeat the Ashland Clockers by a final score of 3-1. to one. Hopkinton, four wins, one tie, two losses on the season. Ashland, two wins, three losses, zero ties on the season. For Emily Miller on camera, my broadcast partner, Steve Sweetapple, I'm Tom Nappy. Thanks for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your night. We'll talk to you again soon. Have a good one, everybody.